Hello everyone and welcome. In today's DV 3.0 tutorial, I'm going to show you how I managed to create this page using DV 3.0. Now, before we get started, if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course on diviuniversity.com. This course is 100% free and you can go ahead and enroll right now. Now, if you want to design awesome looking websites with Divi, I have a course which has a 50% discount right now. So if you go to diviuniversity.com, there's a pop-up that comes on the top of the page, which gives you all the instructions to get that 50% percent discount. Now, this only has a 24-hour window, so if you don't sign up for the course within 24 hours, that offer goes. So I would recommend that you go on to dvuniversity.com and sign up for this DV Blueprint 3. Everything that you need to learn about DV is all in that course and it's always going to be constantly updated. Okay, so let me show you step-by-step -step how I managed to create this page. So before we get started, I would like to share with you where I managed to get these images. So I use a website called pexels.com. Now this is a website which has royalty free images, which you can use for commercial purposes or for your own project. So it's actually quite good because you get to use these professionally looking um, images for your website. In our page here, we can see that we have this uh, thumbnail that I uh, that I used here, and this is where I got the image from. Okay, so I'm gonna close that, and for the background, I used this image right here, but I did a bit of work on it in Photoshop, and I'll also be showing you what I did in Photoshop to achieve this blur. So before we can start putting our page together in Divi, let's go head over to Photoshop and let me show you step by step how I managed to prepare these images. Okay, so let's start with the thumbnail image. So with this thumbnail image, I didn't do anything fancy. All I did was I created a document which was 1280 by 720 pixels because this is the size that I wanted. And also when you download this image from pixels.com, it's a huge file. So you need to scale it down and make sure you optimize it for the web. Okay, so after that, all I did was I saved it for the web and I saved it in my folder. Okay, so let's come over here to this image here and I'll show you exactly what I did here. So here, all I did was I duplicated this layer by pressing Command J and then I came over here to the top on Filter and then I chose Blur, Gaussian Blur, like that. So you can see already by default, the blur has been applied. So all you can do here is you can play around with the scale here to add the blur or reduce it. Okay, so I found that setting this at 10 was the best option. So I clicked on OK and then I also saved this image. And by the way, if you'd like to know the size of this, it's 1920 by 800 pixels. Okay, so you save this and then we can head over now to Divi and then start building our page. Okay, so over here in Divi, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, click on Use Visual Builder. And then I'm gonna start off with adding my image to the background. So I'm gonna click this gear icon to access my, my section settings. And then I'm gonna click on Background, click on the third tab. And then I'm gonna click this plus button to add my image. So you can see here my image is already in my media library. So all I have to do is to select it. But in your case, if the image is not in your media library, you would have to navigate and find that image and then upload it to the media library. Okay, so with that selected, I'm gonna click upload an image. So now we can see the image has been applied to the background. Okay, so for now, in fact, before I uh, navigate away from this page, uh, what you want to do next is to make sure your positioning is set to top center, like that, and then click Save. So what I'm going to do temporarily here is just to add some padding to this, like that, so we can see a bit more of our image. Right, so next I'm going to come over here to my uh, row and then add a single column like that and add my module. So my module here is gonna be a video module. Select it like that. And then you need to go to a website like YouTube or Vimeo. So right now I'm just gonna come over here to Vimeo and then I'm gonna copy this link like that. And then I'm gonna paste my URL in here like that. 
Okay, now off the bat, you can see that we have a beautiful image here in the, in the section background. Okay, so now that we have our image here, you can see that this image, we, we don't have much control over the thumbnail that comes with this image. So this is where now overlay plays a major role. So over here on overlay, I can click on upload and then we can use our customized image that we prepared in Photoshop. So here it is, I'm gonna select it and then click upload an image. So now we have a thumbnail that looks really, really beautiful and it matches our website. So this is how you can use the video module to make your video thumbnails look very, very professional. Now there's no way you could control this even if you go to uh, YouTube, like for example, if I come over here to YouTube and uh, paste my link here, you'll notice that the video still doesn't look brilliant. So I'm gonna come over here and paste my video link like that. So again, look, I mean, uh, the, uh, the thumbnail is blurry, it doesn't really look nice. So this is where, um, as I mentioned before, you can use a custom overlay image and this will make things look much, much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this process one more time. I'm gonna click upload, select my thumbnail and then click upload an image. Okay, so that looks much, much better. Okay, so what we can also do here is to come over here to design and then click on play icon. You can actually play around with the colors here. So you can make it, uh, you know, a different color if you wanted to. So I'm gonna leave that um, as white like that. And uh, also if you want to resize uh, the width of that video, you can always play around with that here, but we're not gonna do any of that right now. So I'm gonna save. So now that I have my thumbnail in here, the next thing I'm gonna do is to add my title. So I'm gonna come over here and click this plus button and the module we need is a text module like that. Select it and then I'm gonna add my text in here. So I'm gonna copy it from uh, Lorem Ipsum and then I'm gonna paste it in here like that. So we want this text to be a heading, test, a heading text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it all come over here and select heading one. Okay, now it's time to stylize the text. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click on heading text because we set it to header one. And then for our heading font, I'm gonna choose Leto. So to make things easier for me, I'm gonna search for it here like that and then select it. And then I am going to choose light. We're gonna make it aligned to the center then we're just gonna increase the size a little bit, maybe about 44. And we're gonna change the heading color to white so we can see it on this dark background. So pretty much that's all we need to do. In fact, there's one more thing. Let's make this all caps, right? And then save. So all I have to do now is to drag this to the top of the image of the uh, video thumbnail like that. And then we need a call to action button. So I'm gonna click this plus button here and add, look for our button module, like that. For our button text, we're gonna call this Start Shopping, but you can, you, you can name this button whatever you want. Okay, so we've got Start Shopping there. And then for our link, right now, I'm just gonna add a blank link. Click on Design. And then first of all, we need to center this on the Align Center, and then we're gonna come over here to Button and activate Use Custom Styles for Button. Okay, so now I can customize everything around this button. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to come over here to my button text color, choose white, and then I'm gonna come over here to my button background color, click this plus button, and I can choose the colors I want. So I could actually go with that red if I wanted to, but I'll just go with this orange. Okay, so we don't need any border, uh, border width, so I'm gonna re uh, remove that, and then, we're gonna come over here and make our text, our font, all caps like that. And let's make this semi bold, excellent. And then over here, we're gonna add some button spacing, some letter spacing like that. So that's looking much, much better. I really like that. Okay, so let's scroll down. Now, if you wanted here, you can actually change this icon and uh, have a trolley. So let me see if I can locate that quickly. And here it is. Okay, so now I've got my trolley. I'm gonna scroll down. And then only show icon on hover. I'm gonna say no, so, so that this icon will always show on my button. So that's looking much better now.
Okay, so that's looking brilliant. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here as well. And then I'm gonna go to box shadow. And then if I wanted to, I could just add a shadow here. Just, I mean, you can see here it's slight. In fact, let me switch it on and off. It just adds that dimension to that button. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then finally, I'm gonna add a bit of an animation. So for that, I am going to use bounce. Fantastic. Okay, so our, our page is taking shape now. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Now, that's all that you have to do to this page. Now there's one more thing that we need to do here and that is we need this image in the background here to blend in with this header part of our page. So to do that, I'm just gonna save this page like that. And then I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder. And then I'm gonna go here to my uh, dashboard and then go to Theme Customizer. Right, so here in Theme Customizer, all I have to do is to come over here to header and navigation, click on primary menu bar. Okay, so here on our primary menu bar, let's start off by adjusting our text. So here our text size is set to 14. Let's increase that to about, let's say 16. Like that, I'm gonna add some letter spacing, maybe even two. Like that, we're gonna make it all caps. And the font I'm gonna use here is Leto. So I'm gonna search for that quickly. I think I've passed it. Okay, here it is. Okay, in fact, size 16 is a bit too much. Let me bring this back to 14. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change my text color so it stands out on this dark background. So I'm gonna click here and make my text white like that. I don't need any transparency, so I'm just gonna drag that all the way up. And our active link color, I can just choose any color here. So I'm just gonna choose this orange. If not, I can just go back and adjust that. Now, the most important part here is the background. So if you click here on the background and you drag the slider all the way down until you have full transparency. And look, as I drag this down here, our header area is becoming transparent. And then now my image has blended into my area here at the top. So that's all you have to do. So now I'm gonna click on save and publish. And so if you have a customized logo, you can always come over here and uh, change your logo. So I want to show you where that logo goes. So you can come over here to Divi, click on theme options, and then you can always click where it says logo, upload your logo right here. Okay, so that's all you have to do. I'm going to click on visit site so we can take a look at our page. And this is our final page. So pretty much this is how you put together a beautiful looking page using both Photoshop and Divi. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you go to diviuniversity.com, I have a 50% discount on Divi Blueprint 3. And this course gives you everything that you need to know about designing beautiful websites with Divi. So head over to diviuniversity.com and sign up for that course. And also, if you'd like to learn how to use WordPress, I have a free course that I'm giving away. So head over again to diviuniversity.com, sign up for that free course and get started with designing websites. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care.